What's up everybody, this is Danny looking at another product review and today I want to be looking at the Spigen Coated Backpack and it's a really comfortable backpack and it's a little bit on the premium side expensive but there's a lot of premium materials in here really really well built backpack and we're going to take a look at it now. The Coated Backpack retails for about $100 on the Spigen website and is available in many colors. This backpack features thick straps and really really nice materials and padding for it to feel very very comfortable while you're wearing this bag. It features double compartments with many many different organizational pockets that you can put different things into and it also features those two big nice comfortable pads on the back there that really make it feel comfortable for you there and also kind of air into your back there since it's not one piece and it is split into two. So you can see here it's also got these little straps or hooks that you can put onto your uh, straps as well just in case you want to hang something right off of that. And it is also very, very tough and you can see here and it's very, very thick padding there. Really, really easy to adjust. You just pull like any other backpack and it pulls with no problems at all and it's really really easy adjustment now it is definitely not the lightest backpack i've ever had but it definitely feels solid and premium and you can see how easy that is to adjust right here with just one pull and it's very comfortable it also features a strap up top as well easy to carry with this i'm not sure exactly what you would use this for but um, i guess you can put something here if you need to and go ahead and put it back and secure it if you needed to with this backpack but i guess it's a cool inclusion i just don't know what you would really use it for now you can see there's actually three different compartments here and you can see how nice that soft uh, material is in there and that is in the front and that's for you to put different things i guess you can put whatever you would want in there but let's see what it features in the rest of the bag and you can see that there's a double compartment there and if you open the top part you can see there is a separate compartment here and you can see it's lined with just uh, really really light material here and you can see there's a pocket there and a double pocket on this side and you can see on the back that there is a full pocket there on that side so you can see there's some organizational pockets there for you maybe put your schoolwork there uh, on that side maybe put a book or two but if you look on the back you can see that this is some really 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 cool stuff happening here for you can see that in the back there's a full laptop compartment there with really really soft material there so if you don't scratch it at all maybe a little tablet compartment there as you can see and on the top it's pretty cool because maybe for school you can put your pens and you can put pencils and different things in there or you can put chargers and different things in there if you carry a lot of tech and you can see that there's also another compartment right below it so you do have a lot of organizational options this is probably not the biggest backpack you can get for I've seen bigger backpacks but this definitely is a happy medium for storage now the backpack that I have been using is made by Encase and it is a much smaller bag but it was roughly around the same price uh, about a year ago and I think I paid about $79 for this bag. I don't know if they sell it anymore but I've definitely been using this bag for the last year and if you look and you open it it's got a cool color compartment in there but you can see there's a laptop tablet stuff and you can see there's a few pockets there definitely not as big as the Spigen coated backpack. And it does feature the same type of straps here and uh, you can see that it does have a little hook compartment there or a little strap that you can put something to. But the thickness of these two things are definitely different. You can see how much thicker the Spigen backpack is and it really does make a difference for it really does make it feel more comfortable and more premium especially when the bag gets heavier. And you can see that the both of the backs have that kind of like airy back to them but you can see that the Spigen backpack definitely has thicker padding in the back. So let me go ahead and show you all the stuff that I carried during my vacation. Yeah. 
Definitely a lot of stuff, and it fit comfortably as well. I mean, we had two phones in there, a DSLR, another lens, wireless speaker, charging orb. I had a big power brick for my MacBook Pro, a retina display, and the iPad mini, and it fit with absolutely no problems at all. And I could have probably fit more stuff in there, but it was definitely comfortable for I carry a tech bag everywhere I go, and this is the definitely the best medium-sized backpack that I've used so far. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm showing an Xperia Z with the Spigen coated backpack. And really, it shares waterproof properties. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the water and pour it on both of these devices here. And you can see that there's water going all over this bag and all over the Xperia Z. And let's test it out and see if they're both waterproof. And you can see that the Water is pooling really, really well in that place. So the Xperia Z is also coated in water. Let's go ahead and just take it right out. And you can see that the Xperia Z survived without a problem and it's fully functional. And the coated backpack, all you have to do is just take a cloth and wipe it right off and look at that, it's ready to go. So it's waterproof and it works well. So what do you guys think about this coated backpack? I know it's $100, it's a little bit expensive, but it really does compare with some of the other ones on the market today for these kind of backpacks are pretty expensive. I think it's definitely premium, it feels really good, and I think the straps feel really premium, and it is really, really comfortable to wear, and I think that's the most important part. So I think that if you don't have a problem with the price at all, I think this is probably one of the best backpacks that you can get. So please subscribe to my channel today and thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.